Hello, 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 and welcome back, all of my beautiful friends from the internet. I hope each and every single one of you is doing spectacularly well on this fine Tuesday morning or whenever you happen to be listening to this podcast episode, whether that be morning, evening, or night. Welcome to the Reddit Asks Us podcast, the podcast where we read and react to comments from r slash ask Reddit. I am your host, Luke Dick. Now remember, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever else you get your podcasts, please, please, please leave us a rating and also leave us a review. It helps out the show so, so much. I have been seeing some more reviews popping up on Spotify or some ratings, I guess, rather. Um, And I I just, I I immensely appreciate it. So thank you all so much, so, so much for doing that. Um, Remember that you can respond to this week's episode uh, by listening in Spotify, going to the description, description of the episode, and you can answer this week's question, and I will read out those responses out loud on the next week's following episode. Um, Just a reminder, this is now an ad-sponsored show, so we will take an ad break after after we're done reading off the responses from the week previous, and then we will take another ad break um, about anywhere from uh, 20 to 30-ish minutes uh, into the show after that. Um, I think the last thing I have on my agenda here is... Uh, be sure to check out my Instagram uh, at Reddit Asks Us Podcast on Instagram uh, and YouTube uh, at Reddit Asks Us Podcast on YouTube, where you can see all the YouTube shorts and the Instagram reels that I make. I'm on TikTok, Tick Tick Tack. Oh my God, I sound like Nancy Pelosi. Tick Tack Toe, a winner. Um, in case anyone didn't see that, look it up. It's unbelievably cringe. Um, but anyways. Uh, it's Reddit Asks Us on TikTok, uh, my, so it's Reddit Asks Us minus the podcast, just Reddit Asks Us on TikTok, and you can see all the YouTube shorts, the reels, the TikToks that I make, and they're, I, it's just reading off uh, Reddit posts, and they're they're fun to make, and they're, they're often, they're a little bit sh- more, it's more short form content than something you would see or listen to here on the podcast, but it is nonetheless still uh, really fun and really engaging and just a, w- a better uh, way to just, you know, help to create the community. So please go and rush my Instagram uh, and my YouTube channel at Reddit Asks Us Podcast and my TikTok at Reddit Asks Us. So with all of that said, uh, let's hop into last week's episode. So last week's episode was, what's the craziest breakup story you know? Excuse me. So first one comes from Vortex. So there was a girl, there was a guy, and they broke up. Well, it doesn't get much more crazier than that. I mean, breakup stories can can really uh, really push push people over the edge, to say the least. Okay, so that sounds devastating. Next one comes from Fian thirty nine hundred. First, thirst trap is a good word. That's from last week's episode. Second, she sacrificed parts of her body to a cult towards her boyfriend. She's in jail now. Hi from Washington, D.C. Sweet, what's going on? Hi, uh, Hello, Washington, D.C. I don't think I'm too far from Washington, D.C. I think Halifax is decently close to Washington, D.C.-ish, kind of. I don't know. Um, That is so weird. So how did they break up? Was he just like, listen the you're running out of body parts you, like the, the the whole thing about being in this cult is the idea that we that you really sacrifice all that you can and you're running out of fingers you have no more toes left i'm not really seeing much left that you can sacrifice here so if i'm going to be honest we're going to we're going to have to kick you out of the cult you just you're not you're not made for it we're looking for someone with a little bit more say amphibious qualities you know like i would i would i would much prefer if you were able to be like a lizard and just grow back a a tail or something or grow back a couple fingers then we might be able to keep this dialogue going but based off of the fact that that you seem to be selfish because you're just not regenerating any limbs right now we're gonna have to we're gonna have to cut this off all right we're 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 gonna no pun intended we're gonna we're gonna have to cut it off all right this not only the rest of your available body parts but also this relationship it's just it's not gonna work it's really not gonna work i really don't think you understand the concept of sacrificing body parts okay i don't really like i feel like this is just even even a cult he's just organ harvesting he's like no babe trust me it's like a show of affection and love just just we'll make sure that we stick it in an ice bath afterwards and then we'll stick it in this cooler. Don't even worry about it. It's just for preservation purposes, okay? And then 
Marco's gonna show up at the door and he's, you know, with the boys and they're gonna take it away, but they're gonna take it to this like special place where they, where we pray for it, okay? And then we just hope that it, that it works to help God or like whatever, you know? I think that's cool. So just give me all your, like, we'll start with the, we'll start with the small stuff, okay? A couple fingers, couple toes. Then when you really feel comfortable, maybe an organ, maybe a kidney, okay? You don't need that. You don't need your kidney. You got two of them, all right? It's redundancy. It's what it's for. Donate. Don't be so selfish. Next one comes from Tucker. The craziest breakup story has to be King Henry VIII and his six wives. I I just looked this up because I wasn't like super familiar with with the story of that. But it turns out he uh, beheaded a decent amount of, of his wives. So talk about a little salty. Apparently he was jealous or something or adultery or unfaithfulness. And then he just was like, you know what? Off with their heads. I think I'm just going to go all the way here. It's not enough to just break up, divorce, just say you're out on your own, right? You're the king. You could literally banish them to the middle of nowhere. But instead, it's like, you know what? Let's just let's just cut to the chase. Let's just, let's just cut the head off here and then we'll then now, now the problem's dealt with. Now we don't got to worry about it anymore. Problem's over. So, personally, I think this was a bit of a re- overreaction. Just, just you know, might have been a bit of a, bit of an oversight on his, on his perspective. But you know what? He was also the king, so I could imagine if anyone tried to protest, they would also get their heads chopped off. So, kind of, we're just we're just in the back seat for that one. Next one comes from Ghost. What's going on? Uh, what's that, Luke? Uh, but this is uh, this is my own. When it's my ex was cheating on me with her real dad. Fucking what? And I found out from her sister and broke up. Also, weed is better than the Nick Nick. Uh, is, and it's just disgusting. Or better than Nick. Nick is just disgusting. Stay ghostly. That... Uh, why? What is... Th- I don't understand this. Are you sure it was the real dad? It's like, I'm just praying it was, it was no, of no relation. I don't even know... I don't even know what I would think of that. I'd be calling the police. This is a crime. Okay, this is some serious, like, I don't even know what I would think at that point. I'm like, listen, I'm kind of pissed that you cheated on me, but I'm also like, I, if anything, I'm just like deeply concerned and disturbed. I don't even know if I'm like, I don't even know if I want to be hurt by that. Cause it's like, well, it's not like you cheated on me with someone who was like, you know, with like a realistic type of person that people cheat on someone with. No, you, you, you committed a crime all right, uh, of incest, so I don't even, I don't even, I kind of feel like I dodged a bullet here, low key, this feels like I'm, I'm, I'm actually being set on the right path, there's something here that wasn't fully adding up, you know, uh, but I'm sorry that happened to you, that's devastating, and also, we, if you're on, if you're, if you're ripping Nick, if you're, if you're using vapes, you gotta, it's, it's time's over. The time for vaping is done. It, it, it has lost its allure. It is now just probably one of the most disgusting habits I have ever seen. Next one comes from a small fry. Hi, Luke. New name. And I'm the same guy who commented on the mukbang from last episode. Full names can sound rough if you can relate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no breakup stories, but superb episode. Congrats on the ads. Uh, thank you so much uh, for the congratulations. I really appreciate that. And thank you for uh, enjoying the episode. I'm glad you did enjoy it. Uh, yeah, again, we're, we're, we're not... The mukbangs again. Cringe. Hella cringe. That was from the previous episode, but not I, I i'm not i'm not with the ugh, just uh it's bringing up it's bringing up like i get the nails on a chalkboard feeling next one is from cozy my friend broke up with his girlfriend for a girl he dated for one day and while they were dating she had another boyfriend and my friend and the boyfriend were friends it gave me a huge head huge headache to listen to them both at that point you got to just be like you guys should just talk to each other about this Seems like we are, it seems like, why am I the middleman here? Okay, I'm hearing this from both sides. It seems like, okay, well, you guys are really unsure about what's going on. You're dating the same person. I wonder if there's like a commonality here. Because I know it's not me. Okay, it seems like there's one person between you two. 
I don't really feel like I'm compelled to be super involved in this situation. Uh, I think maybe you should talk to each other, maybe talk to her, figure this one out for yourselves. You can't, you can't just, you, you can't complain if you're, if you're friends with your boy who, and you're dating the same chick. It's like, why would you go talk to your other friend? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. What, I'm just gonna not talk to my boy whenever we hang out. It's just, it's just all vibes. There's no. It's like, yeah, we don't really like to, we don't really like to bring that up. It's kind of, it's kind of a hot topic, you know. So I'm just gonna talk to you about it. What am, what the fuck am I supposed to do? What, what do you mean, good vibes? Okay, well, the vibes are not gonna be good that much longer if you guys don't talk about this because uh, you're dating the same person. I don't, I don't, I don't know which, you know, person kind of went behind the other person's back, but I can't imagine that it's going to be all vibes for too much longer. Next one comes from Stressed Human. My first ex just blocked me, blocked me so I assumed whatever, rude, but not unheard of. Then I get, th- then three weeks later, I get a message. You're too nice, and it's over because you're too nice. We hadn't been dating for four months. Bruh. This is, pe- this is because people don't realize what they have until it's gone. Straight up. And then they're just like, you know what? It's it's because you're too nice. I'm looking for someone who's in just a terrible person. I'm looking for the worst person possible. All right, you don't even gaslight me. Okay, that's the least you could do. You don't even you you don't even try to manipulate me. Okay, you don't even try to convince me that that I'm wrong in every single situation. You don't even prevent me from seeing seeing my friends. I'm looking for someone who is abusive, borderline abusive. And you just don't give that to me. So how do you expect me to love you? How, how are we supposed to create a loving relationship if it's, if it's not based on on manipulative codependence? I, I don't... I, I Personally, I'm not, I'm not catching your drift. Next one comes from Jack of Spades. They murdered someone. Or Jay of Spades. Or Jack, I, I'm not sure. Jack, Jay Spades of Spades or something. Murder. That that's a I think that's a <laughs> that's a deal breaker for me. I, I don't I don't really know if there's like unless it was like a dire self defense situation. I think if someone was just like yeah, oh, someone rear ended me. So I you know you know how that gets right. You just it's hard when you when someone rear ends you to not get a little bit angry right. So I just took out the nine millimeter, went up to him and shot him in the face a couple times. How, how else is how else are, was he sp- gonna learn that learn from that okay he he left behind his family okay so it's not like his family's it's not like the lesson's unlearned okay so the family's gonna know don't don't go around driving recklessly okay don't bump into the wrong person's car you know if you don't want to get a bullet through the brain so i mean i i i i think i think if someone was you know like that to me i would just be like yeah, I'm I'm going to I'm going to try to enter witness protection right now because this is the I feel like this is my only option. I'm utterly scared. Just yeah, just just shot him a couple times in the fucking face. It's no big deal, okay? People die every day. What does it matter if it's a car accident or a heart attack or a couple gunshot wounds? It's the same thing, all right? He was going to die eventually. I just made it happen faster. And, and it, it was for a reason, okay? It wasn't like it was for no reason. It was for a reason. Maybe not the, the best reason, but it was a reason. Okay, I feel like you're not hearing me out on this. I'm just like trying to slide my hands towards the phone, dialing 911. Next one comes from Caleb. I don't have anything to say, but great episode. I've seen that on Spotify, people can send voice messages, and I think it would be really cool if you if you tried this out. Keep this up, man. You're killing it. Thank you so much, Caleb. Um, I think the voice... I, I haven't looked into this, but there's. it doesn't seem like there's much of an option for voice stuff on my podcasting uh, platform that I use like to, to dis, dis, distribute my episodes, like my podcast distributor. However, I do know that some podcasts have like a Google voice number and people can call into the Google voice number and leave messages and stuff. However, this is something I think at least at this point is only available in the United States. It's not available for people in Canada, which is unfortunate because I've, I've actually tried to set up a Google voice number before and 
it's just it's not possible in Canada and it, or unless you want to pay money for it. So it's it's really f- annoying and stupid and frustrating. Otherwise, the, otherwise I would. I definitely would. And I'll look into it. I'll keep I'll keep looking into it. So don't 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 um you know, don't lose hope. I I would definitely I, w- I would definitely be interested in in hearing from you actually with your voices. That would be like super cool. It'd be it'd be a really fun episode to do. Um but Okay, we're going to take a short ad break, and then we're going to hop into this week's episode. The Vietnam War, it's over. Your John has begun. A new HBO original limited series. Welcome to the world of spycraft. Strap in. From executive producers Park Chan-wook and Robert Downey Jr. What are you concealing? Based on the Pulitzer Prize winning novel by Viet Thanh Nguyen. What if I told you that I was a communist spy? How did you become this? The Sympathizer, streaming April 14th on Max. Subscription required. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Welcome to the main episode. Let's hop right in. So this, I mean, you already know it comes from our favorite uh, page in all of the internet, our lovely subreddit, lovely forum of Ask Reddit. This one is, what was the most shocking habit you discovered when you moved in with a partner? Now, if you guys want to answer this question, I wouldn't even limit it to just partner, but if, you, if you've ever moved in with someone or if you just live with someone who's got bad habits, I would be super curious to know about what those habits are. So even if they're just like your sibling or you know, even your parents, I don't know, it just people that you live with. If you guys know people who have just a shocking habit or strange habit, uh, then feel free to comment that and I'll read that out on, on the next week's uh, episode, on next week's episode. So first one comes from Clarity in the Void. He liked to tear holes in the sheets with his toenails so he could tuck his feet into them. Uh, what? I don't... Okay, bruh. Well, if you're just, you're gonna ruin your sheets, first of all. And second of all, there are, like, I don't understand. What is this feeling? This is, someone wasn't loved enough as a child. Okay, this is just a clear indication that someone is lacking in affection or love in some way. No, like, I need my toes all protected. You know, I have to put the toes and I got to put them inside my bed. I got to rip holes in the sheets with my toenails and then I got to stick them in because I'm scared about, you know, not being grounded and I just have to be left in the bed and I just really want to be secure in the bed and I just my feet and the toes and all together. It's like, yeah, I think you're, you're making a case for yourself that you, you clearly didn't get enough love as a child. This is, this is, I don't even, there's there's got to be better options like the reply comes from super power drill and says you know what else can put your feet into a cozy feeling some goddamn socks i feel like there's there's steps here that we could take before it's ripping holes in your sheets to stick your and i'm i'm still confused is it you're tearing holes in the sheets with your toenails so that you could poke your toes out or are you facing down and poking your toes into your mattress? Like, I'm, I'm confused. Because if you want the toes out, then just pull your covers up a little bit or something on the end of your bed so your feet stick out. I don't think we have to go through... I think you're, you're making this much harder than it has to be. It's like, well, how am I supposed to get that nice, cool feeling on my feet? Don't tuck in the end of your bed. Like, just have your feet hanging out. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. It's like, well, I sleep hot, so I just like to tear holes in my in my bed, in my sheets, so that I cool myself down. I don't know. I think there is a, a well-known device that's been used to help solve these sorts of problems of it being too hot in a room, and it's called a fan. Okay, it's called a fan, and they're pretty popular, pretty widely used. All right, I, 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 I've used plenty of fans. They work very well. Okay, I think that this is this is uh, this this goes deeper. This is like something. This is something strange. This just goes to some like childhood trauma. Next one comes from Harpy for Hire. He he won't clear the couch. He just sits down. Fresh folded wash sits down. Handbag sits on it. Paper sits on it. Was so tempted to leave a saucy plate on the couch and see what happened. Habit finally ended when he sat on his laptop. Really? It took you sitting on a laptop 
for you to just not that is how lazy can you possibly be like i i i think every once in a while i'll get on myself for being lazy i think i'm lazy okay i've never just stood at a couch saw that there was stuff on the couch and just thought fuck it i'm not picking that shit up i'm just gonna sit right down okay i i don't even wanna you think you what you think i'm gonna take the stuff off the couch nah i'm just gonna go ahead and sit down am i gonna be uncomfortable most definitely is this gonna ruin clean laundry by me sitting on it probably but you know what i'm not moving it i got better things to do okay i have to get watching the newest episode of the bear Okay, how am I supposed to do this in the most efficient way if there's clothes on the on the couch? This is this is the most toxic person. They're gonna be like, babe, you left the you left the clean laundry all on the couch and I had to sit on it. It's like, oh well, you didn't want to pick it up or, babe, really? You honestly think that I was gonna pick it up? That's your job. I'm supposed to be like, I've got I've got better things to do. Okay. The new episode of The Bear literally just dropped. Okay, now I'm looking at this dirty couch because it's all full of my clean laundry. Okay, and babe, not to mention, I gave you my underwear to clean. There's still skid marks in them, babe. You didn't get the skid marks out. Like, I'm starting to question what you even do around this house. How am I supposed to sit on the couch when there's stuff there? Fine, I'll just sit on it then. I, Come on, bro. There's no reason why you can't just lift it off. The weakest weakest man in life. This is the weakest man I have ever heard of. Holy crap. Uh, this is this is why we get criticism in western society for being lazy because people can't pick up their fucking laundry off the couch to just sit down. Next one comes from Zwoli. She sprints up and down the stairs. She just hates being on the stairs, so she makes it as fast as possible. It's insane to watch her calmly walk to the stairs, then just automatically start sprinting. This is again, I refuse to believe people don't have, she was pushed down the stairs as a child. There is a fear of stairs here, okay? I think we need to discover, this this is like a phobia. What's wrong with the stairs, okay? Like, so what? You trip up the stairs a couple times. Who hasn't tripped or fell down a pair of a flight of stairs? Okay, it's not that. It's not that big of a deal. It doesn't it doesn't mean that we need to see a set of stairs and just hover over them, just sprint so fast? Like that's probably you're probably gonna hurt. End up hurting yourself. You have a probably higher chance of hurting yourself if you sprint up the stairs and sprint down the stairs than you would if you just walked. Th- on them normally i think this might be a little bit counterproductive this is going to be the the catalyst for uh, a very serious injury well i'm afraid of stairs so i sprint and i do i i I make it possible to increase my rate of injury by going on the stairs by sprinting up and down them i feel like this is this is just only going to open itself up to to major injury potential here but why do, stairs are such a stairs are a weird one. I'm not really what's what's going on with stairs. It's just walk walk up and down the stairs. Okay, it's not it's not a big deal. If we got some trauma there, I'm sure we can discover it. All right, this is not this is not that big of a of a phobia. But gosh, I I, I when you when you when you're doing the four when you're doing the four hands when you're going the horse run up the stairs, I'm getting a little concerned. I don't really think that's a sustainable activity. I think if you tried to do that when you're old. You, you're gonna, you're, there's, a hip is gonna break. Next one comes from OMG, I'm Brick. <laughs> He'd whack off, then come in a garbage can. Not a tissue that he placed in a garbage can, just straight in to the garbage can. At least it had a bag in it, but because he wasn't putting tissues in it, it never got full, ergo never emptied. Ugh. The effing smell led me to sleep in a separate room and eventually end the relationship when it somehow ended up being my job to clean his room. Eventually end to the relationship? Eventually? This is... What, what, this... It, 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 
What do you mean by eventually? You're making this seem like it was just... You're, you're throwing them bones here. I think this is just grounds for immediate therapy enrollment. Immediate, like, this is not... This is not what normal people do, okay? This is, like, to make it your problem, too, it's like, babe, garbage can isn't clean, okay? It smells. You gotta do something about that. How, how am I supposed to, how am I supposed to get off when it smells terrible in there? All right, like, you, you need to be able to, to, to support me in this and figure this out because I'm not, I'm not doing that. It's your job. You're the cleaner. Okay, I I do other stuff. Okay, I just I'm I'm like the I'm I, I do like I keep you in check. That's my job. I'm like just gotta you know I remind you. I remind you, like I'm doing right now. I'm doing my part. Okay, so if I hold up my end, you gotta also hold up your end. I'm constantly reminding you, clean up my dirty nut garbage, okay? Clean the skids skid marks out of my underwear. Okay, wipe my butt. Like, these are simple things, babe. These are really simple things. I just really am feeling like we're, this is not a mutual... We're not We're not living in a mutual reciprocal household here. You're not holding up your end of the, the bargain. Eventually. God. This is, again, this is grounds for some authority to be called. There needs to be some centralized authority that handles people like this. These are not people who deserve to be out in regular society okay these are people are going to mess up they're going to do something there's something something's gonna go wrong i can guarantee it that is just so so weird how do people develop these habits how do people how do like how do you just look at that and think nah this is fine cleaning up this disgusting thing hell no not gonna do that shit like how do you even i don't understand you just piss on the floor and you're just like it just evaporates it's water okay it's like it's like it's a liquid it just it'll go away all right and the smell is just adds character all right it just lets you know that this is my territory this is my home it's how else are people supposed to know i live here if i don't come in the garbage can and never clean it up so it leaves a nasty smell so that people can smell it down the hallway, okay? How if I don't pee on the floor or rub my feces all over the walls? People just, see, people people try to make themselves at home. You don't do that at my place. You're not making yourself at home here. It's my house. You can clearly tell by the crap on the walls. Next one comes from Keyspam102. My husband folds towels where they are still wet and puts them away. It's absolutely disgusting. Edit to add that he stopped doing it after I asked him, so we were able to progress with our relationship again. It's like, he's going to get like a lung disease or something. Oh yeah, I've developed the Black Plague. Uh, because I've I let mold grow all in my house, and now mold spores are growing inside my lungs. But it's chill, though. It's, you know what, I gotta get the towels folded. I just, it, it just bothers me when they're not folded. You don't want to stick them in a dryer. You don't want to just like, you know, even if you don't have a dryer, there's those, there's those like hang dry units, okay? This is not a hard problem to solve. This is not, this is, this doesn't require NASA level astrophysical engineering. All right, this is, this is some pretty basic let a towel dry before you end up I don't know, killing yourself or harming other people. Again, people don't, I, I do not understand this stuff. This is why we need, we need, I, we got to have some sort of like school thing for this. Okay. There has to be some class that teaches you how to like live like a normal person, you know, how to live or in a, in a space and environment. Cause geez, I mean, it's crazy. You think, you think your place is, you know, that everybody lives, I mean, I, I grew up in a fairly clean household. I'm not going to say I'm the, the cleanest guy around. Okay. I have some, I have some, I probably have some pretty gross habits. Um, like I'm not going to stray away from that. Uh, I actually just had a conversation with that, that about a friend fairly recently, nothing crazy, but again, within parameters, within limits, it's nothing that's vomit worthy, 
And then you go to other people's places and there is a f- wall where people throw leftover food and just throw it at the wall because they don't care. They think it's funny. Then it's just, this is odd. This is strange behavior. I, I'm starting to believe that we're de-evolving. Okay, we need a, we need to have some cleanliness classes going on. Next one comes from Quick Witless. My husband organizes something every day, but it's the most random box in the back of the closet or refolding his clothes. And my first my first thought was WTF, but now I realize it's one way he relaxes after a long day. He's adorable. Babe, don't you think you could clean the garage like I've been asking it's really dirty and it's all of your stuff in there and we just really need to organize that stuff or clean the house I I I do it all the time and it doesn't really seem like you care much or want to pick up after yourself is there just can we compromise this babe I'm literally cleaning right now I folded this t-shirt like 10 times today Okay, I'm literally doing laundry. I'm folding my t-shirts. Yeah, but like you said, this is the 10th time you've folded it today. I think it's folded. Maybe we should just channel the folding or organizing into another more, you know, more pressing part of the house. Maybe something that is actually going to be productive instead of just stagnant. So you're ungrateful then. You're ungrateful. You are just so ungrateful for all the work that I'm putting in. Did I not tell you I folded this 10 times, okay? I didn't fold this just once. I I didn't, I didn't, I didn't just neglect folding this. I didn't just fold it twice. Babe, I folded it 10 times. Yeah, but you're, you're not listening to me. No, 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 you're not listening to me. Like I said, I didn't fold it. Three times even. Or four times. Hell, five times. I folded this t-shirt ten times. If that doesn't scream organization, I don't know what does. I'm just kidding. It seems like you are very much into your husband. I'm kind of just playing off this bit, but... I, You know what? It's Organizing does help. Organizing really does help. I find I get much more stressed out when my room is just a mess... And then I think to myself, like, uh, it's it's fine. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's no big deal. But then when I clean it, I realize, holy crap, I feel way better about, like, myself, my life. And I actually feel like I can get some work done instead of coming home and my room is just clothes everywhere and unorganized stuff all over the place. Organizing does help. So, and I can, and I, I never believe that someone just like, can't organize. It's like, so you can't look up a YouTube video on how to fold your clothes. Some people are that helpless. They've done, they've had their, their parents do like everything for them like that for their entire lives. And then when they get out on their own, it's just like, okay, well I sat at the dinner table and there's literally no dinner. Where does dinner come from? Okay. Where's dinner? Mom, I'm calling you because I've sat here for three hours and there's no dinner. Where does it come from? I'm I like, it's normally whenever I'm at your house, it just shows up. Whenever I'm at your place, laundry is just clean. Okay. Why isn't that happening here? Who does it? What, what, well, how does it get done? Doesn't that just, doesn't the house do that stuff automatically? No. And then you got to realize, no, you actually have to take care of yourself that's how life works. You have to do, you have to look after yourself. Who would have thought? Next one comes from Call Me Caroline. He and his roommates never took out the trash, like ever. Huge pile of trash bags in the kitchen, almost reaching the ceiling with trash bags, in, with trash all in the cabinets too. Every great once in a while, they would rent a U-Haul to take it to the dump. So, conf- so confusing to me, but I didn't know how to help them break the cycle. Nice guys. But sheesh. Oh my god. Again. Like no one no one thinks this is a problem. No one just no one's just like, yeah, it smells terrible in here. Every time I walk in the door, I want to vomit. 
are, we have no space because everything's being taken up by garbage. We have mice all infestate and a mice infestation, cockroaches. But you know what? I think it's all part of living in a integrated environment. Okay, we are supporting other life. You want to view it as this gross thing. I want to view it as, listen, this is our little ecosystem. We are being host to our own little ecosystem in here. There are probably life forms in here that have never seen the light of human day, de- the, 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 the light of day in all of human existence. Okay, we're probably creating new bacteria. To me, I think we're on the forefront of science. And I would say that I think that you're on the forefront of causing another global pandemic. All right? You think COVID sucked? Well, I, I personally believe that whatever disease comes next is going to come from these fucking people not taking out years worth of trash. Okay? I, that just can't be good. I, I am not, I, I'm not going to put it against the people of the world that the next major disease not going to come from some melting iceberg or, you know, like uncovered disease from a long time ago or some novel thing that, you know, uh, like comes from animals or whatever. No, it's going to, it's going to come from humans purposefully not cleaning themselves. Someone's, it's literally going to be the epitome of like a, like the discord mod and a discord mod is going to just sit in their chair and it's just they're going to just collect they're going to just collect all they're never going to shower go to the bathroom they're just going to do it all wherever they are and then they just grow into this big black lump and then it just grows and grows and just starts devouring everything in its sight and it's like an action movie you have to get machine guns out to freaking mow this thing down and you try to mow it down and it just doesn't do anything it's rolling everywhere and consuming everything in its path this is my I, i truly believe that that is a greater threat to our world than a naturally occurring disease my personal opinion because of these disgusting people next one comes from happy go we would buy veggies another that's another shout out from like two episodes ago or whatever that's very cringe Ooh, really Ooh, what is that even i saw someone's license plate here recently was Ooh, i'm like really brah is, is that I know I get I get you like anime or wherever that stuff comes from, but can we not just be normal? Can we not just communicate with words and normal things? We're not cartoon characters, okay? Nobody's eyes are that big. N- nobody gets red lines on their face when they're blushing, okay? This is just we need to we need to chill out here. We would buy veggies, etc. And if it had the slightest bit of discoloration, not exaggerating, he would throw it away. He would also peel like 8 million layers off of an onion before cutting it, essentially wasting most of the onion. I mean, definitely seems like a little bit obsessive, but he's looking out, okay? There's some, there's a reason, there's reasons to be positive here. He's just looking out, you know, you don't want the potatoes being spotty, being too weak, right? The onion... So what? You got to spend a couple hundred dollars on some onions to get really what you need. He's looking out for you. All right. This is, I think this is going to, this is not the worst thing in the world. Next one comes from Sufficient Tale 3139. This is messed up. I don't think, I, I, I truly think that there should be a prison sentence for this. Eating cereal with water, not milk. Okay. Unless you are, you are forced Okay, say for some reason you just you can't even afford to buy milk. You can only afford to buy cereal. I would rather you eat eat cereal dry. Okay, there's nothing wrong with eating cereal dry, even if you don't have the money to buy milk. Okay, so there's no excuse. If you got cereal, you're either eating it dry or you're using milk. All right, in the most dire circumstances. You, why? What? Do, wh- there's no justification for eating cereal with water. This is just, this is inhumane. I feel like this is a crime. This is a, this is a, this is akin to 
treating your body with the utmost disrespect and your taste buds. You, you, why would you want to? Why would you want to p- submit yourself to this kind of torture? Water with cereal. It's like if someone gave me a bowl of cereal. If I asked, like, "Oh yeah, do you have any cereal?" and they're like, "Yeah, I'll get you some," and they gave me a bowl of cereal with water. I, I, I think this is grounds for just. I think I'm going to inform everyone to to commu- discommunicate with this person completely. Cutting them off from all channels. This is... We need an intervention here. We're going to stage some sort of intervention. There, how, there is no human that should get come to the conclusion that this is like a, an appropriate thing to do. I don't even... It just... It seems like a, something a psychopath would do to inflict pain on themselves. Yes, I'm... I'm a little twisted. I, uh, I like to watch... Crazy videos on the internet. Videos you wouldn't want to watch with your own two eyes. I... I eat my cereal with water. Never milk. I like the torture. I like the pain. I like the suffering. Yeah, that's... That's the only person who's doing that. Uh, Let's see what we got up here next. Next one comes from Iron Willed F Up. I didn't move in with him. I just stayed there a lot and cleaned up his messes a lot of times. But he had pee bottles under the bed, and I don't know why I didn't leave in the moment I discovered it either. Ladies, please, please make pee bottles under the bed a deal breaker. No, babe, you don't understand. It's like a project. Like, it's like a thing. Like, I'm, I'm just... I'm, I have to, I have to test it, and you ferment it, and then it just, it, it's like a, it's a scientific, it's a scientific study that I'm conducting, you don't understand, and it, it has to, please don't leave me, it, it has to do with, with, with pH balance and, and acidity and, and other things. No. There's no justification. She found the pee bottles, bro. She found the piss jar. There's no justification for this. Again, why are you holding on to your piss? This is people have problems. All right, these these are some deep rooted, deep seated issues. Like what? How how do you how do you expect to like sustain this behavior either? Like you're just gonna, oh babe, got to piss. I'm running low on 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 piss jars this month. You think you could? Uh, you think you'd help me out? You can fill a couple jars with yours. I'm running low. Okay, I'm not hitting my monthly quota. I haven't been drinking as much water as I should be. Okay. I just need you to help me out with this one. Maybe you could just fill up a couple jars for me and so we can collect them. It's no big deal. Like how I don't understand how you think that this is going to keep happening. This is some very I, I have a feeling that that uh uh a slight breeze is going to cause this man to have a full mental breakdown. I am I am under complete confidence that it's just going to be a one small thing and this man is going to break. He is going to shatter. You, you, the, this is, I think there is very few bullets in the world that you could dodge that are like this one. This one in particular, I think, might low-key take the cake. There is no, there is no justification for keep, for, for storing and keeping your excrement. I, like, what what could be the thing? No, babe, like you have to understand it's like an exfoliator, okay? So when you you got to shower with it, you got to you got to truly use it on your skin. It, it's an exfoliator. It's just, you don't understand it. It's because you're not into natural therapies, right? You want to use all these moisturizers, you know, whatever whatever Kylie Jenner and Kendall Jenner are promoting is what you're going to use. Okay, yeah, sheep. Have you ever tried piss? All right, you you think you think you think a little deep Aveeno is going to help with your skin? You go to Sephora to pay a lot for moisturizer? Clearly, you've never tried piss. Clearly, you've never tried the pee from your own body. It's going to work you wonders. And you obviously don't know that because you don't smell like piss like I do. Like There was like some Reddit thing that I saw. or I can't remember where I saw this. on Instagram or Reddit or something. And someone was like, I use piss my pee as an exfoliator but how do i get rid of the smell 
I find that it's like works really well, but the smell is just overpowering. How do I get rid of it? You mean the the smell of pee from pee? I don't know about you, but I think it's kind of they're one in the same. There's a reason why it smells like that. Okay? I think there's a reason our excrement has like a bad smell so that we like don't use it. We don't ingest it. It's not something that we can recyclable recycle, you know, very easily. It's it, you know, it takes through a whole treatment process to do this. It doesn't happen naturally, you know, if it did maybe maybe you could make your case, but I I'm not I'm I'm really I'm really not willing to hear you out on this one. Next one comes from Nice Background 3339. He doesn't change his bed sheets ever. He thought the only reason I change mine regularly was because of periods. So yeah, he thought men just don't have to change bed sheets ever. Now he changes it regularly, but damn that was a wild thought. Reply from Cyan Cyanide Lemonade. Cyanide Cyanide Lemonade. Changing bed sheets infrequently is one thing, but not believing in changing in bed sheets at all, and also thinking women get their period blood all over the bed sheets all the time. This just shows men know nothing about women at all. Men know just a ridiculously poor amount about pretty much everything that has to do with women. Yeah, I mean, obviously I don't change my bed sheets because I don't get a freaking period, babe. It's like, what? What does a period have to do with changing your bed sheets? Well, there's nothing, there's no relation. There is no relation. Okay? This, what, what happens if you piss your bed? Okay? Like, you're just going to be like, well, it's not period blood, so... Not that I think pissing your bed is like something that happens normally, but clearly this guy would never change his bed sheets under any circumstances, so... You never know. You never know with these people. I wouldn't put it past them that they just piss their bed and are like, you know what? I couldn't make it. I couldn't make it to the bathroom. So I just like pissed in my bed, babe. But since it's not period blood, I don't need to wash it. Obviously not. The only reason why you'd need to wash your sheets is if it's period blood. So yeah, if I don't, if I can't make it to the bathroom, fuck it. I'll just piss in the bed. I'll just, you know, it keeps it warm. All right. It just warms it up. Adds a little character into the bed. Okay. Adds a little character into the bed sheets. And then this is, this is that guy. These are that dude. These are these dudes. They just, they don't understand anything about anything at all. Nonetheless, anything about women. Yeah. The only reason why you'd need to change your bed sheets is because of periods. That makes total common sense. Um, next one comes from just a juice box. My girl loves peanut butter so much. She has a tub of it next to the bed and on the coffee table and in her office None of these tubs have lids. They are always open with a spoon in it. I'm concerned that the peanut butter might spoil or go bad, but she says she eats a whole container every two weeks. I still love her like crazy, though. Bruh. No, dude. This is just an invitation for all sorts of infestations. How can you just look past that? (laughs) I love her, though. She's a character. She's a character. Leaving open food containers everywhere she goes. Yeah. Yeah, we've we've had we've had a lot of problems. Yeah, we've we've yeah we've had, we've had considerable amounts of problems uh, with uh, with rodents and and bugs and ants, cockroaches and the like. But she's just my wildfire. She just gets me going. Can't so you know what? I let her do her thing. She's a little quirky. Okay, it's a little quirk. Okay, everyone's got a little quirk. You know, sometimes I leave the sink running while I'm washing dishes, and I know I'm not supposed to do that. It's a little quirk, okay? She just leaves open peanut butter jars everywhere she goes. It's like, it's no big deal. Okay, everyone's got everyone's got their things, okay? I wash all my laundry in the same load, okay? I don't separate by color. Sue me, okay? She, she has let a possum into our apartment. It's no big deal, okay? It's just, these, are, these are just different strokes for different folks, okay? This is just the basis of a healthy relationship, you gotta accept each other for who they are. God, humanity has no help. That's that's disgusting. Next one comes from Kravista. 
They didn't know how to turn on a stove, microwave, washing machine, or dryer. Then one time they made dinner. I was so surprised and impressed that I didn't say anything when I found out the ta- when I found the takeout containers in the garbage. I feel stupid for not calling them out on it now, but thankfully it's not my circus or my monkey anymore. The habit was pathological lying and weaponized incompetence, <laughs> which I only learned those terms after. I really thought they were the only ones to do that too. Yeah. Oh my God. That's, that's, that's terrible. That's, I feel, I feel awful for you. That's, you, baby, you know, I can't warm up my leftovers. Okay. I don't know how to use a microwave. What do you expect me to just learn these new skills? Okay. This is just, I, I've, I, I'm so, I have learned enough in this lifetime. Now I got to learn how to use a goddamn microwave. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't even know how much to preheat it for. I don't even know how to turn it on. I'm just, I would break it, babe. I would break it. You know I would break it. I would just do something stupid. It's better if you do it. Totally just being the most manipulative person in the entire world. Babe, you know I can't do my own laundry. You know I can't do it. I'm going to ruin it. I'm going to ruin my clothes. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Fine, I'll do it. If you want me to ruin everything I ever, I've ever owned, if you want me to ruin the uh, sentimental shirt that my mom gave me when I was a child that I use now, still, and wear all the time, even though it doesn't fit me anymore, my belly sticks out, fine, fine, let me ruin these clothes, let, let me ruin them, let me, let, let, let you ruin them, actually, because you're, you're the one who's being selfish, okay, I, you know I can't do this, this is just too much for me, you're asking too much, okay, folks, we're gonna wrap it up there for today's episode, so, Thank you all so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the Reddit Asks Us podcast, the podcast we read and react to comments from r slash ask Reddit. Remember, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever else you get your podcast, please, please, please leave us a rating and also leave us a review. Remember that you can respond to this week's episode by going to Spotify, clicking the description of the episode, and in the description you should see a, 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 the ability to reply to this week's episode and I'll read those episodes or there's those responses out loud on the next week's following episode. Remember to please check out my Instagram and my YouTube channel at Reddit Asks Us Podcast and at Reddit Asks Us on TikTok to uh, check out some of those new reels. If you ever want to just binge some some fun reels, check out some different content, then please do so. I love each and every single one of you. Thank you for so much for tuning into this episode, and I will see y'all next week. Peace out. Love you. Goodbye.